You know, ladies and gentlemen, it was for a time from the late 1970s to early 1980s before the team folded due to financial problems that the Montreal Alouettes were just as popular as any NFL team across Canada. They were uh, dominant against the Edmonton Eskimos, Eskimos in the 77 uh, Grey Cup, playing on Olympic Stadium, good crowds, uh, good fans, good players. But in 1980, uh, Nelson Scalvini, the owner, decided to lure an NFL superstar out of retirement to augment the already growing uh, talent pool in Montreal. Now, when Fred Belitnikoff arrived in Montreal, even I couldn't believe it. I've been in Montreal, Alouette's fine at the time since 1970, when I was five years old, when he won the uh, Grey Cup in 1970. Now, uh, just for a little background of Belitnikoff, he uh, was an uh, uh, All-American at Florida State, who was drafted in the second round of the AFL draft by the Oakland Raiders and in the third round of the NHL draft, NFL draft by the Lions in 65. He opted for the Raiders and played 14 great seasons in the AFL and NFL with Oakland from 65 to 78. Now, uh, Super Bowl uh, champion, AFL champion, uh, known, of course, for his uh, gawky uh, uh, way of catching a pass and also for using uh, which at the time was not a legal substance but later became Stickum to uh, motivate his uh, short passes. Now, he'd be know, he was known for kind of the modern style of 15-yard catch, which we used to, used to call a second down play, but he would often uh, break open the plays as well, especially in when he won the Super Bowl against the Vikings in 1977, where he put up <coughs> some uh, tremendous stats and almost scored two touchdowns. Now, again, when Montreal lured Blitnikoff from the sidelines after his retirement, in uh, 1978, he wanted to, to have him as sort of like that size and speed uh, receiver. And, uh, you know, he had good hands and a knack for getting open. Now, uh, those smarts and experience were worked to his advantage because at age 37, he put out a really, really a good performance that year in 16 games where Montreal got as far as the Eastern Conference Finals, one game away from the Grey Cup. He had 38 catches for 470 yards with a, a very credible 12.4 12 average with uh, his longest being 22 yards. Again, he was there as that because the CFL had a second down passing. It was a perfect uh, fit. Now, he decided to retire in 1980 uh, before uh, the big influx of White Shoe Johnson, Ferragamo, and Overstreet, and the NFL uh, prospects and product uh, arrived. Now, when he retired from Montreal... He embarked on a coaching career that started with high school teams and wound his way eventually back to the CFL with Calgary in 87 and 88 and into the NFL uh, later in his career. Now, Blitnikoff finally retired from coaching with the Raiders in 2007. Now, he's not only one of the most beloved players in Raider history, <coughs> but he gave to the Quebec fans uh, that uh, were big on the NFL. Like, one uh, media member said at the time, this was probably the last gasp of the Montreal Alouettes' possibility of being that Grey Cup contender. And it wasn't his fault, the team came short. What really hurt them, he had uh, given up too many points in kind of the end of the season and peaked at the wrong time. I think he won four or five straight games to finish 8-8 eight eight overall, but at one point they were 8-6. But like I said, didn't, uh, didn't peak at the right time. But I still remember Blitnikoff, the French announcer, freaking out. When he caught his first ball, he said the Super Bowl MVP has arrived. And I think that summed it up right there. What a gentleman he was to the fans as well. Very uh, well liked. And uh, there was rumors a few years ago he might have been asked to be a CFL commissioner. I don't know if that's true or not. But I uh, I know he is probably one of the greatest minds for football. If you watch his NFL films interviews and see uh, what uh, John Madden and Jack Tatum and the other Raiders have said about him, you know, a tremendous individual. But coming from Florida State, as a lot of people already know, the, the Florida teams are very popular across Canada, uh, Miami, Florida, Florida State. And again, Blitnikoff representing the best of, of college, the best of the NFL, arriving in the CFL. He should have stayed longer. Can you imagine if we had a, the Alouettes in 81 with White Shoes and Blitnikoff on the same team? It boggles the mind. Have a good day. Bye.